Yo, what is going on, you degenerate scumbag fucks? It's that degenerate here, you know, the one that Cody Co made fun of, Maddie fucking smokes. And I'm back here with Crazy Cranny, aka Liam Ghost. AKA and Liam Bapes, baby. So I haven't made a video in three weeks. Slacker, I'm telling you. Um, here's why, all right? I was in Bali, Japan and shit, and I didn't have time. That's a horrible excuse. Actually, the real did, reason is because this man fell in love, okay? I did have time to make videos. It's just that every time I'd record something, I couldn't uh, send it to Ryan. He had no time for YouTube. He was too busy falling in love. They were going on long walks. They held hands a lot. And you know what? When you're holding hands with somebody, you just don't really have time to make a video. Because one hand's on the vape. One hand's holding the other hand. We don't have three hands. It's just not gonna work. So the reason for today's video is I found the craziest vape on the market. Look at this thing. It's a fucking Zippo. Close it just like that. Open this hoe. Done. Just like that, you're fucking chooching, you know? It's called the Vaporesso Aurora Play, I think, something like that. Or Aurora? Aurora? Aurora Play. Something play. And um, it is fucking fire. I I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to pick one up. This video is sponsored by Vaporesso. Just to let everybody know, in the in the in the that's watching, I guess it is sponsored. I've had mine for honestly like a super long time, and I kind of just always forgot to make a video on it. So here it is. So I'm guessing this is just going to be kind of like a sesh type video because I don't really do reviews. Unless you want to review it, do you want to do a crazy little review? Okay, so here we got the Vaporesso. What's it called again? The Vaporesso Aura Play? Aurora now, play. this is a fully closed pod system. I mean, when it's closed like this, you're not actually gonna see... The most playful pod system. Go here. <laughs> in all seriousness, this is a closed pod system in the way that when this thing is closed, the mouthpiece, you have no access to it, which is actually really good because it's gonna keep dirt and grime out of the mouthpiece. Let's say you're working a construction <laughs> job, you work somewhere dirty where you're getting stuff into your pockets and stuff like that all the time and you're constantly getting like nasty shit in your tank. This is perfect because it closes right up, it's totally sealed. Here on the side we actually got the micro USB port. This button right here, this is actually for turning the device on and on. It's five clicks to turn it off, five clicks to turn it on. It's two quick clicks to change the power setting. It's actually a variable, pot, uh, variable wattage uh, little mod here so it has three different power modes. Um, now here's the pod right here. It's um, a one, what is it? A 1.3 ohm oh. with a, I think it's a two, it's a two milliliter tank, no. It's a 1.4 or something like that. 1.5 milliliter tank, let's say. Here's the tip right here. Easy fill up on a juice port. I'll show you guys how to fill it up right now. Let's put some London fog in this thing. Honestly, I think this shit's too professional for me. So I'm just gonna kinda. So what you do is you just push your needle nose tip just right into here, just like this, and it'll open it up, and boom, just fills just like that, super simple. Super uh, easy. And it's cool because it, it's not gonna leak out, you can flip it on backwards, boom. It's all sealed, air sealed in there. Super ear, easy to install the pod, you just push hole. it in like this, and you can actually see the level of juice through this little hole right here, which is also <laughs> a cool feature. I feel like I'm having a stroke, Liam. We don't need to go this far into deep t detail, all right? It's a crazy vape, you can hit it, it gives you nicotine. This guy tells me to review it, and then gets mad at me for being <laughs> thorough. Let me hit this fucking thing, all right? This is too much talking, too much reviewing, all right? I'm just trying vape to- vape resto, you guys can hit me up if you want a review from now on, all right, I'll give you a real review. Yeah, I don't make vape reviews, because that shit's fucking boring, if I'm gonna be honest. But I love vapes. I'm actually a professional vapor. That's what I realized the other day. I want. I should put that in my Instagram bio. Professional vapor. Because if no you cap. think about it, it doesn't get more professional than this, man. Look at me. Look at the juice behind us. Very professional. And this is pretty much my review now. So I'm just going to be session on this thing. Let you... I'm going to be session on this thing after <laughs> I just did that crazy review. If you guys enjoyed my review, just go down in the comments. Let me know what I missed on this variable wattage a uh, closed tank uh, system with uh, quick and easy filling with a USB on the side and it comes in different colors. 
How many different colors? Six, I think. I don't think really. I, don't know. It, cause I think I know it comes in bronze. <laughs> I know it comes in black. I know it comes in the rainbow color, and then there's like a um, a designed one too. So I think there's silver. Four. Oh, then there's a silver one too. So five. five. Yeah. There's probably more too. To be honest. No, I don't think so. Yo, before you end this video, you know what? You should talk about your trip a little bit. So I went to Japan. No, no, you gotta you gotta start from the beginning. All right, so I brought a passport. Oh yeah. Um, paid like two hundred and fifty bucks for that bitch because I needed it expedited. Um, got it for ten years, and then I went on a plane from Vancouver to Seattle, and Seattle to Hawaii. How long were you in Hawaii for? Seven days. I think. Did you do anything fun out there? I surfed. Oh, that's cool. I didn't actually surf. I don't know how to surf. Oh, I tried to. <laughs> I went no. to the ocean. Okay. I went to the gym. Okay. I ate some food. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. I got a tattoo. Um. So. That's about it. Where did you go from there? So you went to Hawaii and then you went somewhere else. <clears throat> to Bali. Okay. To Bali. So I thought you went to Australia first. Well, I, I had a layover in Australia. Okay. So. Okay, so I got on a plane from Hawaii to Australia. Sat in Australia's air airport for three hours. Did you hear any good accents? Did you hear any good name, mate? I actually, um, I tried to buy Vegemite, but I couldn't find any, so. So then you leave, you leave There's Australia. actually kangaroos outside of the airport. Wow. They just walk around like now that humans. that is interesting. They walk around like humans, it's crazy. So you move from Australia to, to Bali, Bali, and you realize that Bali is actually a pretty dirty city. Yes. Tell me more. Okay, so there's like rabid dogs, stray dogs, they, they bark at you and shit. The roads are tiny, the food's all right. But yeah, fucking best place on the earth, I heard. Yeah, it's actually really fun though. It's like really nice, besides being really- How much is a beer? Time. How much is a beer? It's like $3 at a restaurant. It's not bad. Yeah. And then, so you go from Bali to- Tokyo. To Nihon? Tokyo. Nihon. Tokyo. Nihon. Tokyo. Did you know that only in North America, we call Japan, Japan. It's actually called Nihon. And that we just kind of made up our own so name So we went it. to Japan. Uh, That's pretty wild to me, bro. Tokyo. That they have their own name for a country and we don't even like, nobody even knows that. All right, but that's enough <laughs> for my trip. I went back to Hawaii and now I'm here. Now I'm your tattoo. This bitch is still healing, but like. It's not bad. Got his first tattoo. Crazy. Wild child. I got a couple too, I got this one. I got this one right here too. I don't even know where this came from. I thought this was supposed to be a video, you know, describing and... Yeah, but that's the thing, bro. <laughs> you gotta let them know where you were. Cause you didn't make a video for like a fucking month, dude. And people w worry about you, Matt. I was gone. I was doing stuff. If you could follow me on Instagram, you would have known. So follow me on Instagram. You don't even post on Instagram that much. I posted today. And like two weeks ago. Yeah, she posted a really cute picture. You guys should go drop a like and drop a like on my comment. It's a pretty fucking solid comment. It's a pretty solid comment. It's got more likes in the picture. That's when you know you did it good. So, follow me on Instagram at Matt Moviel. Links will be in the description. Same with Twitter and shit, Snapchat, I guess, too. And if you guys want more information on the Vapor Wrestle Aurora play, we're gonna link more information down below, so check that out. <laughs> Just links a whole different review. What? This is horror <laughs> yeah. play. No, I know, but it'd be funny. Like, if I, you guys want more information, then I just like linked a whole other YouTuber's review. And I was like, here's all the information. Here's the actual you information if you're actually serious about watching a review. So, somebody's in the vape shop now. We gotta go. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, leave a comment, I guess. Like it and share. Mm -hmm. it's been your boy, Manny Smokes. Later. Pods? Or, oh,